The 2019 Formula One season kicks off in Melbourne, Australia this weekend. And before the cars line up on the grid for the first race of the year, we want to know who has the best and worst liveries. And to find out, well, we asked 10 of our journalists, many of whom were able to watch trackside during testing in Barcelona last month, for their opinion. So here's the verdict based on a point system from the worst to the best. You can check out positions 10 through 6 in a previous video, but here's a countdown to our top five and the best livery on our poll. At P5, we have the Haas F1 team. It's a bold new look after the grey cars of previous seasons with a new black and gold livery channeling a pseudo JPS Lotus look. But it didn't impress our jury enough to trouble the very top positions and among the disappointed journos was Motorsport.com Netherlands reporter Erwin Yegi who says the prospect of a black and gold livery returning to the Formula One grid made for some high expectations of what the new Haas car was going to look like. Although a teaser that was put on Twitter by new title sponsor Rich Energy late November was very promising, the end result turned out to be quite dull with just some gold accents here and there, while there was the potential of Haas coming up with one of the most striking liveries in recent history. P4 on our grid, we have Red Bull. After a bold look at the launch of the RB15, Red Bull reverted to its traditional color scheme, which was good enough for four double world championships, of course, but perhaps we're growing weary of that, as Glenn Freeman says. Red Bull teases us with these cool and interesting launch liveries, which get people talking, then by the time testing starts, it seems they remember they are a boring corporate F1 team and they clearly feel they can't do anything too exciting with their actual design. And in third place, it's a shock. With Red Bull out of the frame, it's sister team Toro Rosso who steals the march on its older sibling. The blue, silver and red is clearly loved by many and scored highly across our panel. But these are journalists, so there's always one who won't like it, and that man is Autosports Ed Straw. He says it looks like a messy, incoherent, abandoned first draft of its big brother team's iconic livery. Looks like your colleagues didn't agree, Ed. Now, down to the final two, and if you've been paying attention, well, you've probably figured out who they are. But before we get to that, let's have a quick look at the voting from positions 10 through 3. In 10th and last place, we have Williams with 29 points. In 9th, Racing Point with 33. Then we've got McLaren with 37. Renault in 7th place with 43 points. Alfa Romeo in 6th with 58. Haas F1 team with 59. In 4th position, Red Bull with 64. And in 3rd, its sister team, Toro Rosso, with 65. And so, to the best liveries of Formula 1 2019, I feel like we should have a drum roll on this. So, in second place with 78 points and just six points behind the winner is Mercedes. The latest version of the Petronas livery with a host of fresh design accents certainly proved a hit with our panelists. Reporter Jamie Klein says of the W10, the temptation to just leave the trademark silver livery alone must have been strong, but the dark grey on the engine cover with miniature three-pointed stars is a nice touch that shows some serious thought was put into this year's colors. So let's take a quick look at our voting from positions 10 through 2nd with Mercedes in a clear second place. Which leads us to number one in our best liveries of Formula One 2019. And the winner is, of course, Ferrari. And as your host, well, I get the honors of giving my opinion on the gorgeous looking SF90. Well, I love that they changed it up this year, even if only for performance reasons, I think it is a breath of fresh air. I think the matte paint has given the car a much needed aggressive look that, coupled with the new black accents along the lower body, have made the SF90 a mean looking championship contender. Well, let's hope it's as fast as it looks. So we'll leave you with the final scores with Ferrari topping the charts, dropping only 16 points on a maximum 100 available. Thanks for watching our countdown. I'm Julia Piquet and we'll see you later.